Okay, dear students, let us see what is there in this question. A fixed mass of the ideal gas is trapped in a cylinder of constant volume and its temperature is varied. Which graph shows the variation of pressure of the gas with the temperature in degree C, degree Celsius? So it's an ideal gas. So we will first think about the ideal gas equation only PV is equal to NRT. Now it is given that uh, the volume is constant. N is constant and R is constant. So when every else thing is constant in equation and there are only two variables, then we can very well say that pressure is directly proportional to T and it is T raised to power one. So it is a linear variation completely. So that's why it is going to be a straight line first of all. Now this is out of our option now. Another thing to be noted here is that if uh, pressure is on y-axis and this is on x-axis, you can see, see that the coefficient is positive. So it is going to be having a positive uh, slope. So it cannot have a negative slope. So pressure is not reducing with temperature. See, it's directly proportional. More is the temperature, more is the pressure. So D is also out of the question now. So we are left with A and C now. Okay, so what is the difference in A and C? Uh, the pressure and the temperature so okay this is degree C yes now the another thing that we need to consider here is that on axis it is degree C it's not Kelvin so if we extrapolate this line it is going to pass through the origin somewhat isn't it but it cannot pass through origin like if it is passing through origin so at zero degree the pressure is becoming zero degree now, the temperature is not in absolute terms, but the pressure is in absolute term. Pressure will become zero only at zero Kelvin. So, if we're talking about degree C's, so it is not a zero. It is like 273 Kelvin. So, pressure can nowhere be near zero. So, it has to cut this axis at some positive intercept. So, definitely A is going to be the correct answer. C will be wrong because it cannot pass through origin. Simple. Because at zero degree centigrade, the pressure of the gas cannot be zero in absolute terms. That is why A will be the correct answer and C is wrong. I hope you understand. Whenever we write these capital letters P, V and T, they are in absolute terms. The scale has to start from zero. And if one thing becomes zero, everything becomes zero. So at absolute zero, volume of the gas is zero. Pressure of the gas is zero. That is why A is going to be the answer. So my dear students, this is Professor Varun. Please subscribe to the YouTube channel. All the best.